called Cassidy. He's a white cracker. Here we go. Black <laughs> Panther. Oh, oh, there we go. go. Almost, almost. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm almost, almost. Damn it, don't give it to me. I'm, I'm, I'll take that back. I'm, 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 uh, uh, what did what, what, what say, Rod, again? What you say? Oh, no, Cassidy. No, 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 dis- no disrespect. No, oh, no, no disrespect. No disrespect. Yeah. No disrespect. They'll call Cassidy if a black woman forced to move from her seat mid-flight from a, a Delta airline where a former passenger was ticketless. It is a bitch. We can't even fly. We can't get out of war. <laughs> God damn racism. Can't sit, no, can't sit in the front of the plane now. Can't sit, can't sit oh, the front plane. in the back of the plane. God, oh, man. Damn. He might really had, need a seat. He had to move because two, two white ladies were complaining they wanted the seats or something like that. Right? Yeah. They were saying that they were supposed to be in first class, mm-hmm. but they didn't have any verifiable proof that they were supposed to be in first class. So they're sitting in coach or whatever. And to appease them, the flight attendants are like, all right, they they somebody asked the lady, aren't you by yourself? She's like, yes. So then she says, out of fear of retaliation, she decided to move. So she moved from seat 19 to seat 34. And I was like, retaliation from what? Yeah. Like, what the, I'm saying, like, what yeah. are you afraid of? You're in yeah. the seat that you paid for. Oh, right. So, would you think they're gonna nosedive or something? Like, I mean, <laughs> we really have to stop trying to capitulate to stuff that yeah. we, you know, that has nothing to do with us. But yeah, so that's what happened. And they, they just to make sure they appease those. And, it, and it's amazing there is a certain urgency when they complain. When they complain, people are afraid their job is on the line. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's right. That's right. That's right. You know, I, I, I agree, Kelvin. I wouldn't have got up. I would have been yeah. like, listen, you got to go find somebody else to give you an easier fight because you're not getting this seat. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm but, saying. Just on principle, I'm not getting yeah. up. Yeah, you got to be kidding me. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. y'all can move me to first class somewhere and then yeah. you have to work this out. Yeah. Yeah. But then or, with all the seats in first class were full. Or you can change my ticket to a private jet, then I'll get up and go. Right. But exactly. Other than that, but no, I'm not moving. You better go. Give me a free flight somewhere else so we can talk. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But other than or, that, that's it. I think she should have moved. I think she should have moved, but she should have said, uh, "Listen, you're gonna comp this. You're gonna comp this ticket." Be able, no. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, it's too late. Then that ticket's yeah. been paid for. I'll yeah. just say like this: She said she'll never ever fly Delta again mm-hmm. and all that, but she just wants them to admit good, good luck what they did the was biased. <laughs> good, good luck on getting around the world because you're gonna limit yourself to America. It, but but I'm saying no. though, I'm, I'm tired of all that. I just want them to admit enough of that too. Yeah. We don't, you don't no, have no, to admit because no, no, I already no. know what you just did. It don't help me because you what you gonna right. Be yeah, I'll be back of the plane with your That's what admission. I was saying though. You know, maybe they should cop tickets or give us something, man. You know what I'm saying? No, maybe just stay in your seat. That's all. I paid for seat 19. <laughs> I'm staying at seat 19. That's just that's it. it. You know, that's yeah. It. I just like, it. I, like I said, it's gotta for me to get up, it's gotta be a tremendous upgrade for me. And, and, and you know, you know what's amazing? I'm gonna tell you what's very, very interesting. So but you're negotiating, that's my point. You know what I'm saying? At least you're negotiating. Like but we, we shouldn't be always put in this position. And, and so what happens is literally with no proof on their word, they're like, you must be first class passengers. I, I never forget this. I may have told you guys this one time I went to the garden. Man, I'm sitting in the um a friend of mine worked for NBC at the time. She gave us seats right over the tunnel. Right in front of us is 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 uh, four white people, and they're sitting in the wrong seats. The people came down. Excuse me, these are our seats. The usher made the guy and, and his son and the other two people move. Right then, the usher turns and looks at us. Can I see your ticket? My people pull up. I said, No, no. You see my ticket for what? Mm. Why? Because they was in the wrong seat. We, we must be. No. Did somebody come here with the same that said that these were their seats? I show yeah. you my ticket. I'm in the seat already. Well, I got to show you a ticket for because right. you because you look at them like if they're in the wrong seat. I know y'all must be in the wrong seat. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> right. When you get a person come here with this ticket, you tell me and we'll right. we'll look at the ticket. Then. Yeah, Jones, can right. I ain't moving from a seat I paid for? That's right. Hey, that's facts. That's facts on that. No man. argument. No argument. So people walk on a plane, claim they in first class. So that means somebody can walk on a plane and say they're the pilot. Let me drive the plane. Right. That's what I'm saying. You know? That's what I'm saying. And, I, and I'm just tired of when you're in the right, you still under suspicion. It's like going yeah. to the bank. Going to the bank. I went into a bank with a certified Chase check from Chase. Certified. Mm-hmm. And it was my check. I wrote the check to myself. Certified <laughs> check. I go to cash it. I get there. Um, I tell her, I need to I'll call the manager over. I'm like, all right, here we go. Manager come over. Sir, what account did you take this out of? I don't know. Why? <laughs> no, we just want to 
We just want to verify. I said, so you mean to tell me I'm standing in Chase with a certified Chase check and you can't verify it? No, no, it's not that. I'm like, no, don't try to, don't try to calm it down now. You know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. But I don't have to do that when I open an account. And I don't have to do that when I put money in here. I can come in here in my drawers and put money in the bank and there's no questions asked. You know, but now I got to give a hair follicle and DNA sample. I'm not trying to hear it no more. But I'll you know close a, a bank account in a minute yep. with my two nickels in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, the airline, if the passengers did approach me, Spirit Airlines, I'd have got up. It would have, like, have been like the jail cafeteria. You want your cornbread? I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Any spirit airline passenger, I'm out. Bonnet on, yeah. they got bonnets, I'm out. <laughs> now y'all got black Air Force ones, I'm out. Y'all can have this shit. Fuck this shit. I go to the next shit smoking. Fuck that. <laughs> no smoke with spirit yeah. airline. Jam I don't even know if I ever see a clean. spirit commercial. Do they have commercials? Do they? I seen them. Yeah, I seen them. That's Must be late night, night. They're infomercial. They're one in the <laughs> no, yeah, they showed a plane. They showed a plane flying, or whatever. <laughs> I, I was shocked just to see the plane moving. You know, no. <laughs> <laughs> those spirit allies, the plane fly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that should come on at two in the morning. Our planes fly. Yeah, our uh, planes fly. That should come on. At, that should come on after BT uncut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I ain't never seen that shit at no halftime. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's now they gotta pay too much. They gotta pay too much. Yeah, I'm talking about. Mm. I never seen that like a St. John's halftime. <laughs> yeah, Spirit you know, they, got commercials. Yeah, they got a slot too where you can put your Air Force Ones in front of your seat. <laughs> <laughs> and they give out a free bonnet for you to go to sleep. You get a discount, you bring your own chair to the fucking yeah, fight. Yeah. Oh. I would never get that. They, 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 they don't have seats there. You bring your own chair, and they, give you, a, they give you a screw gun to bolt it in. Right. They give you a beanie bag. <laughs> a beanie bag instead of a shit. They'd be like, hurry up with the screw gun. I got I to gotta screw my chair down. Spirit there, Oh, my Lord. I'm <sighs> Where, uh, where the hell are we at? Okay. <laughs> the first black owned restaurant on City Island brings seafood and soul food to the Bronx. Man, I don't, like I said, I don't go to nothing in the Bronx. Mm -mm. Focus me on this. I'm good. Yeah. I don't go to shit in the Bronx. No, that, that is commendable, though, because I, first of all, don't nobody go to City Island but black people, first of all. So fact. the fact right. that finally there, there's somebody with some interest in it, that's a good look. That is yeah. a good look, you know. Yeah, I'm, 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 happy for, I'm happy for them, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm very happy for and That's food. a great combination. You can get soul food and seafood together. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going really... to support it. I'm going to support it. Yeah, yeah. Going to... You don't have to get the seafood. Um, They got they got um collard greens and mac and cheese and all that in there, too. Mm. I'm you know, going to support it as well. I'm going to give D some money and bring me some takeout, please. I'm not sitting here with the natives, so, but I still. Uh, let me tell you oh, something. I'm, going, I'm going with Rod. Rod wrote Rod. I ain't going with this. You ain't going with this. You're going with your car right? Yeah. I'm going by myself. Yo, I'll tell you. That motherfucker like 6'3", 280. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when I tell you that there's certain industries that we just can't support, like the last time I was on a dollar van, the dude got in the accident, D. The driver looks back and is like, does anybody in here have a license? Oh. Dead serious. <laughs> he was at, I'm not lying. When the cops pulled him over after the accident, he literally was asking people, does anybody have a license? If you do, pass it up. If because he was, probably had a permit. That's right. right. People, yeah. people was getting out. No, no. He wanted the physical license, Rodney, to say it was his. Oh. What I mean, your literally. picture's on it. Yeah. If he's got a permit, he can have a licensed driver in the car. Right, but these, I mean, you get any dude in there and cop be like, yeah, this is probably you. <laughs>